Unlike the modern-day setting of Kaanapali, Lahaina is a charming seaside town with a rich and colorful past. Join us as we talk story with some of Lahaina's Kama'aina and learn more about this salty seaport's rich history. Lahaina's historical landmarks make up a rich and vibrant story all within a few blocks of Front Street. But there is one landmark that can be seen as far away as Molokai. We all know it by its simple yet profound name, the L. Oh, the L is one of our probably most conspicuous treasures and traditions uh, for Lahaina Luna. The L started in 1929 by a group of boarders who, being hardworking as they are, after work one Saturday looked up and at, up at Mount Ball, which they called Mount Ball. It's actually Pu'u Pa'u Pa'u. And they thought, well, you know what, let's go, back. let's go do something. So they went up to the, climbed up the mountain and they decided to etch a L. It's smaller than the one you see today. And they came back down, looked up and went, the bugger's crooked. So they went back up the next Sunday and they straightened it out. And over the years, they made it a little larger so it would become visible. The L is now limed twice a year once in the fall and then again at graduation in the spring. And in the spring, they celebrate graduation by illuminating the L. Of course, we have our ceremony on a Sunday, that Sunday evening, and at the end of the ceremony, there's a ceremonial torch lighting. That's the signal that's given to the alumni up at the L to light the L. By then, it's dark. You don't see the people, but you see these scattered torches around the L light up and all, all around the L it starts to light up. It is a chicken skin moment. Today, Lahaina is a reflection of its colorful past. And one of the most interesting things to do is explore its history on a walking tour. The Lahaina Restoration Foundation publishes a guide that'll get you started. One of the historical landmarks you'll find in the guide is the Hale Pa'ahau, literally translated as Stuck in Iron's House. This prison can be found about a block inland from the banyan tree. The Hale Pa'ahau, built in the 1850s using coral and stone from Lahaina's demolished waterfront fort, served as Lahaina's only jail. Disorderly whalers were the most frequent prisoners, often held for offenses including dangerous horseback riding, deserting a ship, or drunkenness. Today, Hale Pa'ahau is open to the public as a museum and is available for private events. Just around the corner from the prison, you'll find the Baldwin House, built in 1835 by Reverend Dwight Baldwin, a Harvard-educated physician and missionary. Reverend Baldwin's time in Lahaina was constructive and influential. He is credited with saving Maui from the 1853 smallpox epidemic by increasing vaccinations and detaining all cargo from neighboring islands. Former executive director of the Lahaina Restoration Foundation, Kiyoki Freeland, emphasizes the importance of Reverend Baldwin's contributions to Lahaina's community. He was a very famous man for what he was able to do. He actually saved Lahaina from the scourge of smallpox. Uh, as in Honolulu, where people were dying like flies, due to that disease, he quarantined Lahaina and saved a great many people due to his actions. A few blocks from the Baldwin House, you'll find the Wohing Temple. Built in 1912 by the Wohing Society, a branch of the Qigong Tong, a worldwide fraternal society. The Wohing Temple served the local Chinese community as a social meeting hall and a place for religious services. By 1940, with the decline of the Chinese population on Maui, the building had fallen into disrepair. In 1983, the Lahaina Restoration Foundation and the Woking Society completely renovated the building and restored its colorful beauty. Today, the Woking Temple is a thriving museum filled with artifacts and memorabilia documenting the lifestyles of the Chinese community and its contributions to Lahaina Town. Stay tuned for more of Lahaina's historical sites coming up later in the program.